going to find your way. You're going to be okay. And you are not alone. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. May I speak to you for a moment? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is... Uh, oh, you know who I am. It is true that we are in the same class. But I do not believe we have formally met. I'm surprised that you know who I am. Most people barely acknowledge my existence. That's fine, though. I barely remember people myself. I'm terrible at putting faces to names. The truth is... I've been waiting to speak with you, because I could not remember your name. When the professor called on you today, I got the confirmation I needed in order to commit it to memory so that I could speak with you. Of course I'm telling the truth. Your name is... It's on the tip of my tongue. <sighs> I apologize. Apparently, it was not committed to memory as well as I hoped. Would you please remind me of your name? Ah, uh, yeah. Now I remember. It fits you quite well. A very pretty name. And now that I am completely embarrassed, I will never forget it. If you'll bear with me for a moment more. Okay. Robin's Rules of Order is the absolute best method of coming to a consensus within a group of people. So, uh, I move that we co-attend a fast casual dining establishment and have stimulating conversation. Do I have a second? Um, um, the motion will fail without a second. Am I asking you out? Uh, no, no, it's, it's not a date. It's a motion. A, a second does not necessarily mean that you are in favor of the motion. But if there is to be any discussion, the, the motion must be seconded. You do second? Uh, oh, good, good. So, discussion. Uh, if there was a place nearby which served food of the fast variety, where would you prefer to go? Why do I want you to go with me? A, a, a fair question. When we have class discussions, I find your perspective engaging, and I seek to expand my horizons, and you seem kinder than most. Not that there's any obligation to this. You are free to reject the, the motion so that it will not pass. After all, it's... It's only emotion. Can 
Can you change the motion? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you can amend the motion to or uh, propose a substitute motion. Uh, a coffee shop. Uh, sure, I, I do not object to that amendment. I take it that you would be likely to vote in favor of this motion. Great. Uh, yeah, good. But I suppose details need to be determined. Where is a coffee shop? The one by campus. Uh, perfect. Where, exactly? Uh... Yeah, yeah, I've been by there. Oh, that place? Uh, yeah. Yes, now I know what you're talking about. Uh, okay, so the place is determined. Now, uh, for the day and uh, time, what would be convenient uh, uh, afternoon or evening or uh, I should be available just about any time uh, except that time I have something that I cannot miss but what about tomorrow we at uh seven o'clock p.m. of course the only decent hours are post meridian everything else is unnatural uh, the reason that i go to our morning class is because i am legally obligated to follow the rules of this institution to receive credit for said class that has already been paid for. It would be a giant waste if I didn't receive credit and force upon myself greater debt than I already have in order to take the class again. Not that attending class is all that helpful, as the professor is rather adept at lulling the students to sleep when she lectures. I mainly avoid this by periodically poking my opposite hand with my pencil approximately every 10 seconds. At least there are occasional in-class discussions that make staying alert less painful. It is only at the end of the class when I finally become fully awake as we cross into lunchtime, and I continue to stay fully alert until midnight comes whereupon my body begins to aggressively overtake my stubborn desire to stay awake. Thus, the only decent hours are in the post-meridium. Oh, sorry. S sometimes I get really carried away with certain topics. So, is 7 p.m. tomorrow a good time for you? Good. Uh, then, uh, I suppose the only thing left is the final vote. The motion is that we co-attend the coffee shop by campus at 7 p.m. tomorrow and engage in stimulating conversation. All those in f uh, yeah, you can choose how you want to vote. Um, there are several ways, of course. Uh, of course, there's the uh, voice vote, uh, raising hands, standing up, a pa paper ballot, uh, texting. Um, I'm not aware of any rule against texting to vote uh, okay uh yeah you want me to uh, uh, do you want me to um put my phone number in your phone uh, 
Are you sure? Uh, okay. Okay, uh, here you go. So, um, yeah, uh, when you're ready, text me y your vote on this motion. Uh, motion passes. Oh, uh, uh, well then, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, now, uh, I have another class to get to. Uh... I'll see you later. Stay calm. Okay, stay calm.